Let's do it. Blue's chill ass party, do gang. And this is story series part four. We went ahead and uh, liberated a tower. Looks like we have to get 17, so I only have three. Yep. Oh, look what we got here. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Oh fuck. Cause we gotta go up the mountain, so. Oh shit. <sighs> oh fuck. Now I gotta get up to this motherfucker. Alright, we got the Yogi and Reggie's. Well, it's actually my house, but they're here. Still alive, shitbags! Yeah, back. bitch. I know you're angry as Donald for what he did, but clear him, buddy! He means trouble, and it's Yogi, you cunt! I still want to shoot you both. Uh, listen, I don't blame you for wanting to put a hole in Reggie here. Don't forget we were trapped in this bloody country, like you, or I can nick your passport, and they're getting us to fuck over folks! Like you! And we can't go back to India after that incident with the cow. Cows are... Uh, right. Cows are... Uh, oh, so many cows. Did you hear this 10 million hits on YouTube so far? Really? Yeah, it was... Okay, look, 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 look. We... We... We, we thought no one wanted to parlay. We didn't think she was gonna throw you in the arena naked. Yes, we did. That's why you bet against him. I only technically <laughs> bet against him. I, I was trying to cover the spread, my old China. He means mate. I, however... I had no doubt. I bet on you, mate. Check it out. Which I'm more than willing to split with you. Uh, 60 40. Fuck you, give me all of 40, it. 40 60. 37. Right, just take the whole lot. You deserve it. Fighting with your tackle, flip flopping about. Yeah. Oh, we're very impressed. With his tackle? With his fighting tit? He was very glad to get it. I would say more 300. I want you two gone. I want you out of my house. I'm taking it back. And if you ever... We'll shoot Donald together. It's Yogi. Smoke? Leave. All right. <coughs> just, just give us a second to pack. Yeah, we nesters. It's a bit of a mess. Yeah, <sighs> pick up your shit. Leave. But first... <sighs> oh, hell no. Nah. So what used to be here? One of those thankers? Yes, clever clocks. What happened to it? Now that is a story worth telling. Yeah, drugs, intrigue, danger, it's all there. I just want the short version. Fine, the short version. We were new arrivals in Kairat. Fresh off the boat, so to speak. Yes, and we were eager to sample the local horticulture scene. Very eager. We were not disappointed. No, not in the slightest. And it was all thanks to an, uh, a kindly old guru who helped open our minces. Right. That day, we reached a level of herbal nirvana unlike any other. When it was all said and done, we asked the guru who his supplier was. That's when we heard of Shangri-La. 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 <laughs> The ghost of ancient Kyra. Mm -hmm. Ancient Kyra. Sure it yeah, is. Yeah, it's more like the ghost that never was. So it's yeah, like yeah. Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Schrodinger's Kyra. <laughs> Guys, the short version, right? Right, back on track. Um, so the guru told us that he had journeyed to a story place, and when he was there, he nipped a few buds. <sighs> This was all made possible through a mystical thanker that hung on this very wall. So what happened to it? Uh, it was torn to pieces and scattered throughout Kairat by persons unknown. Yeah, right, but not to worry. The old geezer sold us a map that ah. led to a cave not far from right, here. Right, a cave with a scary door. Right, really scary. 
As much as we wanted to chase that dragon, the door had a certain uh, do not enter sort of quality to it. So where's the map? I think we used it as a rolling paper, but no worries. It, it, the cave is easy to find. You just head west from it. Yeah, right. And when you find a door with a really scary face on it, you know you're in the right place. Oh, and bring us back a few buds, yeah? Fucking bitches. Can't even help me. Alright, I guess we're going to find that Thinka. Oh, we gotta do this again. We got to. Let's fucking. I know how to do it now. Kinda hard to drive. We'll go right over this hill and it should be below. Oh shit. Shouldn't have did that shit. Fuck you, bear. Oh, I should have fucking...
What the fuck is that noise? Shangri-La के रक्षक के रूप में प्रतिक्षित किया गया था लेकिन मुझे थोड़े अलग ही काम के लिए चुना गया मुझे भेजा था धरती के स्वर्ग शैंग्रीला को ढूंढने के लिए आपका टांग का असंभव को कैसे दिखा सकता है इस स्वर्ग का गवाह बनने का सिर्फ एक ही रास्ता है इसमें रहना ऐसा किसी और के साथ कभी ना हो लेकिन मैं मूर्ख था जो सोचता था कि स्वर्ग दुखों से मुक्त होता है जानवर के दांतों से अटका जंगल में भयंकर लड़ाई हुई थी शेर अपने घर की रक्षा कर रहा था लेकिन किससे शंग्रिला को चुराना चाहती थी शेर मौत के मुंह से लौट आया मेरी जिंदगी बचाने के लिए नहीं बल्कि एक सहयोगी पाने के लिए Chris R want to target him. Shit. 
Scheiße. Don't die. Oh, he died. I think he comes back. said do a chain takedown, that's pretty cool, I just could do it. Fucking dumb, bruh. Come on, Zyger. I have a lot of people with Pryo, but I feel like I'm going to be able to do this for you. They were so big. Oh, God. Oh, Get the fuck out of here. Things are real. Real life. Reach the bell of enlightenment. Enlightenment.
जब मैं बच्चा था तो मेरे पिता मुझे शैंग्रीला की घंटियों की कहानियां सुनाया करते थे उनकी धवानियां धरती से बुराइयों को दूर करती थी वो मुझे चेतावनी देते थे तुम अपने माता पिता का कहना नहीं मानोगे तो घंटियों की धुआनियां तुम्हें ढूंढ देंगी मैं उनसे बहुत डर जाता था इस भय का शिकार मैं अकेला ही नहीं था in the world of the living. Uh, <laughs> How'd I get here? Ah. I'm okay. Uh, he, he walked in holding that bank up. Right. And then you put it up in a frame here and then curled up on the floor for a kip. Yeah. You want to try it. You're speaking a weird language. <laughs> what happened? I don't know, but it was fucking weird. Mm. Was that here when you moved in? Oh, this? I was told that it's a Gale family heirloom, been passed down for generations. Did I not mention that earlier? No, you didn't. Oh. Yeah, That's watch out. Show. Right, and we asked you to grab some of that wacky back here, eh? Uh, Did you find any? I was a little busy. Right? But yeah, That's good. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah, yeah. Next time. But, you do come across that fanker. Keep us in mind. Right. Well, we're off. We'll send someone back here to clean up the rest of our shit. All right? All right. Toodles. Toodles. Get out of my house. You are going to die here. What are you thinking, Ajay? Windows don't do drugs, really? Is that it? Oh, that was from earlier, when I burned down that tea factory that had all that poppy seed and opium shit. But no, Sabal says drugs are bad and you torch a fucking future! I don't think you understand. I'm sorry, did I speak out of turn? Should I walk ten feet behind you with my head bowed? You really? didn't see Kirat before the war. I was six years old when my parents told me I had to marry. Six! That's the world Sabal is fighting for. Just saying. Look, Sabal is not everything he pretends to be. If he was so concerned about his tradition, why didn't he ask you to protect the statues of Kira? What? The Kira statues. Paul's trying to destroy them as part of his campaign to turn the people against the Golden Palm. Thing we All right, we're going to go do Amita or Anita or Amita, whatever the fuck the name is. Mission real fast. Oh shit! Get out the way! I'm crazy.
dog? Literally. Oh shit. Oh, what am I doing? Oh fuck. Oh shit. Yeah. Here we go. Fucking ever get over there. Okay. Found a grappling. I don't know why the music started.
Kirat has a name. Now it's time to light the braziers, to remind everyone that Kira is watching over them. The ball. How the hell do I get up to the braziers? Climb, brother. Climb.
I can't say more over the radio. Please, come to Shanaf. I thought we'd clean house together. Dust the shelves, kill some terrorists. You know, Karat could use a good spring cleaning out with the old, etc., etc. Being someone else's hired gun does not suit you, my boy. Why do you think Army Time Sabal are trying so hard to woo you? They're afraid of you, RJ. And they damn well should be. That's right. 